Pizza here. Zola! 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 And he's got the shot and he's got! Greetings. Welcome back to Couch Critic. Dennis P. sitting here on a park bench in lovely Portland, Oregon, and finding time to muse Chelsea Football Club. Now, before I get into that Man United Chelsea review, could you please do me a favor, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and if you're a real Batman, you'll hit that bell notification button to keep up with the latest and the newest. Okay, let's get right into it. Chelsea versus Man United at Stamford Bridge, a game that finished 2-2 with Rudiger getting one, Martial with a brace, and of course Ross Barkley with a late, late, late equalizer to uh, secure a draw. Not exactly what you can call a classic match when you consider the two big clubs going head to head for the first time this year. Uh, there were a few talking points though, and what I did focus on in the preview was tempo and rhythm, and it did play out in this game with uh, Chelsea not really doing a good job of setting a right rhythm and United capitalizing on it. I really felt that if Chelsea were going to be successful in this match, they needed to play the game at a high tempo and dictate the rhythm right from the beginning. And they didn't really do that very well, regardless of the fact that they had most of the control of the match. They weren't really penetrative in their attacks, and they didn't really create a whole lot of problems for United, who just stayed really compact and in their shape, didn't really press a lot, and were very effective in not only screening Jorginho, but also taking away some of our other outlets like Hazard and, uh, and Willian. In typical Jose Mourinho fashion, the game plan was centered around keeping Eden Hazard for playing football, and they were somewhat effective at doing that uh, with Ashley Young fouling at any chance he got, and also Matic joining in as well. They were carded very early in the match, but it seemed like the damage was already done with Hazard slowed. Uh, by the incessant fouling by both those players in particular. And it's currently something Chelsea have to learn to overcome as a football club. I mean, when Hazard's being effectively kicked out of the match, we're struggling to find another outlet to get us playing football again. And it seems like consistently Hazard's the only main threat that we have, uh, a goal-scoring threat in that respect. Don't get me wrong, I don't feel like there's a lot in this match uh, for either team. Uh, a lot of the goals were coming down to individual errors. I mean, the, the, the first goal for Rudiger was clearly Pogba just caught sleeping inside the 18 and Rudiger was clear in uh, for an open header for the first goal. Uh, with Martial was a clear result of poor refereeing decision. Alonso was clearly clattered uh, from behind from uh, Lukaku and was down with a head injury and the play continued on until United scored. The second goal, uh, Martial's goal was basically an individual error. Uh, from David Luiz where he went in to win the ball off Mata, couldn't win it and was left caught out and as a result United uh, got numbers going forward and were able to score. Now in the other two games that we did draw this year it did feel like two points dropped against Liverpool and West Ham but for whatever reason this game it felt like one point gain and mainly because of the manner in which we were able to get the equalizer so late like at the 96th minute Ross Barkley comes on and slots home the equalizer. What could be said about Ross Barkley right now? Is he not finding form? And like for me, um, he's doing exactly what we want from our midfielders. He's getting in, he's making himself uh, available for goal scoring opportunities, getting inside the box and finishing. Uh, begs question if uh, whether or not he could uh, supplant Kovacic in that starting lineup right at this point in time. Not that I don't like what I'm seeing from Kovacic, but it's the end product that we're lacking right now. And it seems like Ross Barkley may be the guy that can deliver it. I'm not going to make excuses. I really do feel like Chelsea had the opportunities to make a difference and kill the game a lot earlier when they were up 1-0. I believe Alonso was in clear on goal and could have had an opportunity to score. I believe uh, Luis had an open header that he missed as well. And uh, a whole host of opportunities where just bad decisions were being made. So um, that's one area in the game where I feel Chelsea definitely need to improve going forward. It's just their ability to like kill matches. It's been the problem with this team for years now, it seems like. Uh, we, we do a good job of getting up in front of the teams, but uh, in terms of killing the game and like making a statement, we just don't have the, uh, the firepower to do that quite yet. For the purpose of this discussion, I'm not targeting my frustration at say somebody like Morata or Giroud for that matter. Uh, it's, it's a collective effort that I think that we are struggling to see. Like, William has failed to score, Pedro has failed to score. We're not seeing much from Kovacic, we're not seeing anything from Jorginho. Uh, Alonso hasn't scored in quite some time. And it's left a lot of the burden on the goal scoring aspects on the shoulders of Eden Hazard, with the only help coming from Ross Barkley, who's uh, chipped in with two of the last two games. 
Uh, we, that definitely has to improve if we're thinking that we are title contenders. One thing that I did gather from this game that I'm starting to see is becoming a real problem going forward is not necessarily Morata's link-up play. I thought he did an okay job at linking the play uh, better than usual. Uh, it's his hold-up play that's really, really becoming a, a major, major talking point. Uh, when you have guys like Smalling and Lindelof bossing you off the ball and also the the lack of calls that he was getting like guys going through his back But in England you have to expect that you're not gonna get that call a hundred times out of a hundred So you have to play through it a lot of the times and I just feel like his back to goal play is very very poor and it's very hard for us to play English style sorry ball without having a hold-up player who can bring other people into play. Morata's done well uh, the last two games uh, coming through and scoring goals, but I don't know if in big matches it's best to start with him because we do need a reference uh, to build attacks from, and he just seems like he's not hes not adept at doing that right now. And there might be there might be room to uh, address that, that need in January if we are to be like true title contenders this year. I'd also like to see more of either Pedro or Moses on the right, uh, mainly because I think William is way, way too similar to what we get off from Hazard, who is a little bit more of a space investigator, a guy that likes to uh, probe defenses rather than like be more direct and attack, attack spaces. Pedro's pretty good at that. He doesn't always uh, make the right decisions, and same could be said for M Moses, but I just feel like if we have Willian on that right flank while he does work hard for the team he, he just does not possess the, the ability to finish and and really like probe the defense I mean he's been playing uh, professional professionally over in Europe since 2006 I believe and I read a stat that he's not even reached 50 goals yet and to be the starting right winger for Chelsea game after game you need more end product than that and uh, we're just not seeing it from him the only real frustrating aspect about this game, other than the fact that Eden Hazard may have come out with an injury, is the fact that United could use this game as a building block for the season now. I mean, they didn't really play particularly well, but were able to get a point. But their problems still exist in terms of like how they play football. Like I still don't see anything that's recognizable to a, a philosophy uh, on display here. And for that reason, they, they, you never know what you're going to get from this United team. You know, Martial came on and scored two goals, but is he even going to start next game? Where's Sanchez, you know? There's just so many question marks still surrounding this club and the manager as well. But I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Unfortunately, Chelsea weren't unable to emerge with three points at Stamford Bridge against United. Uh, just did not find the right tempo and pace to play at, and rhythm was a bit of a problem, but obviously with the international break coming back and not having you know, a full week to get up to speed with what Sarri was trying to accomplish uh, proved to be a telling factor. Still undefeated on the season, something that uh, we hope to carry over in the next couple of games. Um, we're still sorry, uh, the start of Chelsea right now, undefeated in nine, I do believe. And that doesn't include the cup games. Uh, that's a new, a new record at Chelsea, uh, supplanting Mourinho's old record. And uh, long may that continue. Um, do me a favor, please hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification button to keep up with the latest and the newest. I am going to be on the road for the next few games, so uh, expect dodgy locations or beautiful locations like this one um, for me to continue with my previews and reviews. Uh, I'm going to try and do them as much as I can, but uh, if time permits, I, I can't necessarily do them all the time, but if time permits, I will. Uh, yeah, but I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Let's hope for another three points and another cup win, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. But uh, up to Chelsea, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.